Today's story is called The Real Vine. Now this is a story that Jesus told to his special friends, the disciples, and to the people, to the crowds of people. But what did he mean? What did Jesus mean when he said, the real vine? Now, Jesus says that he is the vine. Okay, so a vine is a big plant that grows beautiful grapes off of it. So here is our vine. So this is what Jesus is saying, that he is like. Jesus is like the vine. That all sounds a bit strange, doesn't it? So here's our, our leaves on the vine. Now, if our vine was full up like this and it had lots of leaves and then our vine ooh, did something lovely and grew lots of lovely grapes on our vine then our vine is nice and healthy okay now in order for these grapes to grow they need to all be attached to the main part of the vine. If one of the branches broke off over here, oh, it couldn't grow any grapes because it wasn't attached to the main vine or the main branch of the vine. But if it was attached, that's it, so it was nicely attached, it could all of the goodness, all of the water that the vine gets fed from the ground will flow all the way through the little branches and the little grapes will grow. And this means that this vine is nice and healthy. Now, Jesus wanted us to have a little bit of a think about him being the main branch of the vine. So if Jesus was like the main part of the vine and all of us, all of the people, so all of the people and Jesus' special friends were like the little branches, if they were like the little branches, if they stay really close to Jesus and attached to him so that they're touching him, then all of the goodness of Jesus can flow through all of the people. And that's the same as our vine. If all of the little branches stay attached and stay close by, close by to the main vine, then they, all, all the goodness of the branch, all the goodness of the vine can flow into them and then they will produce good fruit. Now we're a little bit like that and it tells us in the Bible that if we stay really close to Jesus then we will get the fruits of the Spirit. Now the fruits of the Spirit mean that we will be the best people that we can be. It means that we will show love and kindness. It means that we'll have joy in our hearts it means that we know how to be patient. It means that we can be the best people that we can be, which means that we have got like fruit growing in us, things that are really lovely and yummy for people to enjoy. So the same way that when we see a vine growing the most succulent fruit, which is really yummy, the same way that if we stay close to Jesus, the goodness of Jesus will flow all the way from him into us and that we will be people that are full of love and kindness and joy and patience and all of the wonderful things that Jesus and God are. The more we are close to him, the more we become like him. 
Isn't that good news? Today, we need to think about what this means for us. Let's have a think about what it means for you to be close to Jesus. Maybe you need to spend some more time learning about Jesus, maybe reading your Bible or talking to Jesus and talking to God. These are all ways that we can make sure that we stay really close to Jesus, a bit like the branches stay close to the main part of the vine. 